Can you believe it? It's a Kaiserreich video once again. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Back, back to the Social Republic of Italy. I think overall we're doing quite well. Like, we're just outside of Vienna. I do wish all of our allies here were not here. If they could be anywhere else, I think that would be also beneficial to me. Um, doctrines. I mean, there's more. We'll take it. I, I, I mean, there's no reason not to. And then we'll never take you, but I will go for Infiltration. Which is bonus to armored cars, which is kind of garbage. But I mean, hey, look, the plus organization for tanks. We'll take it. Aside from that, we have deployed some units over here in Finland. I want to kill Finland just to kind of alleviate some pressure off of Russia. Because they have a lot of troops over here, presumably in Lake Karelia. I don't want them in Karelia. I want them anywhere else. Any Anywhere else would be better for me. What about... Because like, they haven't taken Kiev yet. They're very, very close to doing so, though. And I think once Kiev falls, we'll be looking much better here. What are you guys even up to? How much, how much, what, what can I even do here? 500 damage? Okay, like, not great. We're going to keep you up here for now, because I don't know where else would actually make any sense for you. But aside from that, how are you all faring? Bulgaria is kind of doing bad. I mean, Ukraine and Austria, unsurprisingly, are the worst at the moment. By the way, America, what are you up to? I know you're at war with the Japanese. Or over Hawaii, I think. Is there anything else that we need to worry about? Like, if you could maybe... You've done Free the New World. Well, get a Frederick Mexico. If you can declare war on the Canadians, that would be beneficial to me. You don't need to join the Entente. It's... Or the, the International. It's fine, America. You go do you. You go do you. Not that I want your help or anything, you know. Why Why help out your, 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 your comrades when you can go deal with whatever the fuck Japan's doing? Uh, what are you? 20 political power? I won't say no. Maybe the troops he sent over there it maybe was not the best place for them to be. I was kind of hoping they would get maybe a little bit more of a breakthrough, but it's fine for now. It's just a Damocles project. 150 days, we get a bonus of nuclear technology. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? I don't think we're ever going to be building Italian nukes, but we don't know quite yet. Maybe we will. And also, look at that. More entrenchment speed for us. You are bonuses for trains, which I don't think we need anymore. I think we basically got all the train re researches. Two military factories isn't bad. Local construction speed. Is that just in, like, Rome? That's kind of that's kind of garbage. Bonus infantry equipment could be nice. One free infantry, I think, is kind of garbage. And I don't think you do anything. Like, at all. Air Spirit Combat bonus, ground support. And then go to ground bomb bonus could also be nice. Like we've ignored the navy stuff entirely, and that why 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 would I change that? What about you? You're both kind of also like not worth anything to me. So let's go for that research bonus of the rifles. We can maybe utilize you. Like what are we at for right now for infantry tech? 1942? We could probably get this rifle built pretty quickly. The thing is, it's a two-year ahead of time bonus. But by the time that's done, um, the folks is done. I don't even know how ahead of time it's really. It's not gonna be two years at a time. So maybe it's not worthwhile. Man, whatever. Who cares? We'll get a nice bonus towards it. We already have a seventy-five percent bonus. If that gets added onto it, and we get like a one hundred and seventy-five percent bonus. Well, then we're absolutely cooking there. Then we're doing quite nicely. And you guys are still kind of just hanging out because I don't trust the French to actually control the Belgian border. Is there, like, anywhere that would make sense? I think, like, you would be the best province to hit because it has a supply hub. And are you actually connected to our rail system? You would be. But I think this is the province we would want to hit. What is air superiority? We have max air superiority. Send everything to this um, area for now, Okay. Give me the most superiority possible. I want to take you out. Is this 20 divisions? Yeah, okay, no, that is 20. The okay, enemy superiority is a negative 32% right now, which I think is incredible. Country is negative 7. Terrain is also not good for us. Is this a mountain? The hills. 
I mean, we can try to just constantly be pressuring this, this position. I think that makes sense for us. 1940 medium. We're not really using medium tanks, though. Like, at all. We could go up to 42 uh, on the engineer. You know what? Actually, that sounds fine to me. And how many tanks do we have in storage at the moment? 4,000. 4, okay, so we can definitely... One, I can upgrade you. But on improved tanks, we can definitely take you to advanced. Three-man turret. We'll go three-man turret. Throw on a flamethrower. Fuck yeah. Basic radio. I say I should upgrade my radio. It'll make our radio on our um, vehicles better. Aside from that, Dozer Blade is for entrenchment. Well, right now, we don't have any entrenchment for the tanks. But I don't know if we really even need it. Also, our reliability is way too fucking high. We need to bring that shit down immediately. X-ray munition storage looks good. Throw on a small cannon. That still looks good to me. What if it does, like, throw you up a little bit? I mean, this this looks good. I, at least I think it looks good. It might, it might be dog shit. I don't know. But we're going to throw that in here anyways. Get that bad boy going. And we still have no rubber. We're at negative 15, negative 19, negative 10. And until Gibraltar's open, we can't import anything. We can get a little bit from, like, the Spanish. Spain, if you want to give me, like, one factory. Or the Chromium, we can build our tanks a little bit better. And for the oil, I don't think we have anyone who's willing to help us. France could give us, like, six. I mean, I will take it. Because it's better than zero, but that's not that's not saying too much. Also, I need to keep the pressure here. Even Green Army. What's Green Army doing? Oh, they're the ones that buy Vienna, right? I think we just keep the pressure here as much as we possibly can. We'll just keep on attacking until they run out of organization. I know our organization ourselves is also like dog shit, but that's okay. Not you guys. You guys just kind of hang out back here for now. What is our max organization? 54. You guys are at 51. Our organization is better. The low supply isn't helping, unfortunately. I mean, we could try to force attack. France wants more tanks. I say yes. What's, it, what's purple even doing up here? I don't even I don't even know, man. Do we have naval superiority over here? We don't. I was like, maybe we like navally invade one of these places. Like, does that make sense? I don't know. Do I have any boats I can send? Well, no, yeah, any boats we have, we can't send them through Gibraltar because of the fucking Morocco. So that doesn't help us too much here. I do see German reinforcements are arriving, but I think those are the units that got pushed back a little bit. And then you don't re you reinforce at 7%, but even then, you don't reinforce that quickly. 830 defense. Did they put a lot of planes here? They did. They don't like my Air Force being here, which, I mean, I understand, but I'm not a fan of that. Can I do ground support here? Yes, I can. We don't need ground support in this area anymore. We have some more planes we can throw into the sky. Not a ton, but we have some. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I do the force attack with White Army. I mean, I know it would it would be a lot. It'd be very aggressive on me. What if I get military access through Russia? And then Purple Army. I'm going to redeploy you into Russia instead. Near Petrograd, see if you can take a Helsinki. I, I think that makes more sense. And it's something that might be viable as well. I'm going to do the force attack because maybe I'm stupid. The thing is, I don't want them to pull back. I want to see if they can take down their organization. As much as humanly possible. The casualties are going to be insane. But if I can take that province and I can take their supplies that has to be good if you're gonna get pushed out it's draining how how fast is it actually even draining is it draining fast at all 
I would say it's going at a pretty decent rate. Some troops are coming back into the fray. I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to keep fucking pushing. You can't stop me. Do I need to send more units over here to maybe assist? Just quickly, I'm going to move some of you guys over here, okay? Okay, rubber processing is going to give us a little bit more rubber, which is good. Keep this, keep, please. Take the city. What do we want to take now? I think we just keep going down the rubber uh, tree for now. We're, actually, we're only repairing shit. That's not what we actually want to do. I think I want to get some... Amelia, congratulations. You're going to have... We're going to build some uh, production here. Build some more military factories. I don't want anything being used to repair. Because repairing is free. Why would I want that? And how are you guys doing? 91, 92. You, come on. We're, we're so close. I need you to push here. We got our troops coming in here to reinforce. I want you to kind of slow this down. The numbers are looking good, I think. They may be looking good. Maybe they're looking dog shit. You are bonus for special forces. I mean, we do have recons. And cheaper tanks, you know what? We'll go with you. Now, we are running out of oil. Okay, but we did secure this. You'll be connected to the capital in a handful of days. It'll alleviate some supplies off of this station. I don't know how long you will take to actually be part of the system, but it'll happen eventually. How are we doing here? Good. We're killing more planes than we're losing. That's all. I mean, we, we assume we won't have any oil. And once the oil's gone, we're going to have some issues keeping the planes in the sky because who knows or who knew planes like it when they have fuel it's, it's stunning to me as well is there anything else we're using the fuel for for the air force you know what just for a moment let's no i want to select all my planes please Ju just for the moment land all the planes we're gonna have to slowly build up some fuel at least for a little bit. Like, we're not... We, the planes aren't in the sky. That's kind of... It's kind of okay. We have two supply hubs here. And you are still not connected to the capital. But I don't know how long that's going to take. Because it doesn't actually say the railroad. It, it is connected. There we go. Okay. 12 to 20. It did alleviate, I think, a little bit off of you. Not a ton, I will say. But some... And I think we do need, now need to... 87 days on a new rifle is actually pretty incredible. But I also want the oil ref, the oil uh, gain from refineries to go up as well. What do we take? What do we take? We're going to oil processing first. We're going to get fuel refining four in a moment anyway. So we can, we can always just pivot after this. And now our tanks are using oil. Why does everything need... Can we just, like, have no... Can we just stop using fuel? There's got to be, like, a better use case scenario than this, right? Yeah, there's also a lot of German troops here. Germany's the only reason that Finland's even still in the game. So, you know, what if we take you away from Finland and we send it to Kiev? Hmm, that's, that's, a, that's an idea. That's an idea. Because, again, I think if Kiev falls, Ukraine's basically going to collapse... Oh, Russia actually connects with Romania now. So, so this is actually one big front line. How many troops does, does Ukraine have? Four, 43 to 120. So they are a pretty substantial part of the war effort. And unfortunately, I don't believe Poland is going to flip sides. As nice as that would be. So many units are here. Six? Like, we have a better... Oh, Kiev fell. Okay. Is that... It's not the end of Ukraine. Oh, okay. They took it back. It's not the end of Ukraine, but they are getting there. Okay, you're still holding on fine. So far, 
you may have noticed it's been 15 minutes and we've taken one single province. But hey, I would say that's a pretty important province for us to take. Had a time penalty reduced by 200%. Well, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I guess we'll take it. I, I don't know if, if it's not ahead of time if we keep the bonus. I'm going to say the answer is probably no. By the way, can I just say that their Germany is doing so much better than my Germany? What, 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 did, I, what did I do wrong? Okay, please use the railroads. Okay, so we have some German troops here. Like, we're really just trying to get Ukraine out of the war. The invasion of Iberia and Colombia, not a big deal for us. We don't care about that. Well, I mean, we care about it because we don't want our allies to die, but it's, it's not a big deal to us personally. I need more artillery pieces. Okay, throw one in there. And how are you guys doing? 15,000. It, it's looking okay, I would say. Let's get some more iridescent claims. Hell yeah. Germany, do you, have you noticed that you have too many troops? There, you have, you, have too, you have too many soldiers? Let me just say, I'm not a fan of that. Russia, also, it looks like you're losing a lot of material here, which I'm not also, also not a fan of. If you would lose less units that would be beneficial to my cause so you're worth five you're worth three they've lost odessa so this might be enough for ukraine to be out of the war i mean they have levolv they're at 23 percent god damn it they're so they're so close to uh to being out of here you were five. Lvov is worth 15. If they only didn't get that territory from the Austrians, we actually would have been, like, absolutely golden by now. Unfortunately, that is not the case. What? I don't give a shit about my navy, man. Just just pick, pick whatever you want out of the list. It'll all work out just fine for us. And what about... Where, where is uh, Illyria in here? They're not close to dying at all, which, I mean, is understandable... Because they haven't lost a grab yet. I mean, so let me move our way to Sarajevo. There's so many things that we need to get done. Okay, Amsterdam's collapsed. That is... That's a positive. This, this actually is looking pretty good. If we can kill the Dutch, then... Something good will probably happen. <laughs> I'm assuming it'll be, it'll be a positive development on our, our future ambitions here. Because you're worth five, you're also worth five, but they took the city back, unfortunately. Do I send I was going to say, do I send troops to you? The answer looks like it's going to be no, because you're already completely faltering. Which I would say is bad. I don't want you to falter. Give me cheaper tanks, though. And what do I need for you? I need more anti-tank and anti-aircraft guns, so let's get that going. We'll take one off of trains... These flame tanks I haven't even actually used yet. Let's take two off of you for now. Um, throw one more on trucks. How many flames? Because we, we have 49 of you. We have 30 of you. If I was to throw on the flame tanks. I apparently actually do have enough flame tanks. Fuck it. Throw it on there, baby. Now every single unit in my army needs oil. That's, that's, that's what we should do when we're fuel starved, is to put more units that need fuel into the army. It just makes sense. You might not understand it. I think we're all, I think you're all dead. I think you've all lost the plot. Okay, well we have a spy. I will send that spy to Berlin. I think that makes sense. America, what is your plan? You, have, you do have war plan red. You can declare war on the Canadians at any time. In America, I would love if you were to declare war on the Canadians. Eastern Iberia, Southern Iberia. Stop navally invading Spain. Like, I would say it's just bullying at this point. And I don't, I literally don't even see a way to move any of these troops. Okay. 
I'm gonna pull you back one province. If you can, if you can make it, thank you. Is there like another spot here that makes sense? I mean, Russia's actually losing ground in the Baltics. Which is just embarrassing. Like, I don't know how you've accomplished this embarrassment. But you, you've done it, and I'm stunned. There's so many troops. Like, I don't even think, like, a naval invasion would make sense. Like, I don't even know where we would navally invade. I wonder if we should send troops to kind of deal with these. Like, instead of you guys being here, we send you to Spain. I'm going to do that because I don't trust the Spanish to deal with this on their own. It might be a mistake. That's that's all I got. It might it might be a mistake. That's that's all I've got to say. But I will say it at least right now. I think it's a pretty good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not do a quick thumbs down. You want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.